So welcome back to another video. Uh, I promised an update on the whole electric car deal. So this is <laughs> this is one of them. I just need my coffee. I need to see if it has survived the uh, trip. Coffee. I think it have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, I made another video, an update to you guys about the the Peugeot E208 that I pre-booked or signed up for a waiting list. So apparently these days, if you want an electric car over 50 kilowatt hours of capacity, you need to sign up for a list and then wait for half a year or something like that. So. I paid 700 and something euros uh, just for the privilege of signing up. <laughs> uh, and then last week I got a call from them saying that uh, you need to you need to talk to you about which car you want and how you want it configured and stuff like that. And I think, oh God, I'm not ready for that at all. So, um, but I had a few days not working, so I went <laughs> went up to there to the to the dealership and talk to them and I figured that I, where they would have everything ready, prices and, so, and and for extra equipment and stuff like that. So, But as it turns out, they didn't have that at all. They basically didn't sound like they knew, uh, know a lot more than I did already. So uh, I think that mainly just wanted to get an idea of what kind of equipment people would be interested in in buying. And um, so I pretty much just said what I said uh, previously about the GT model and, well, uh, wireless charger. And that's just about it, I think, what I want. And it has almost everything else. Uh, assisted parking is not a standard, but I couldn't get a price on that. They didn't have a price on anything. So I said, it depends on what it costs. If it's like 2,000 euros, then no thanks. If it's a thousand, then uh, I don't know. Maybe if it's five hundred, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, so I didn't really know much new about what's going to happen. Uh, I think they said they will have a model in December, the gasoline, petrol, diesel powered version, and then perhaps in January they wanted they might get an electric model, the first electric model. So, um, not not much is happening until then, I suppose. So I haven't even seen one yet or been able to sit in one or drive one so uh, I really <laughs> it's a bit premature so um, uh, and I haven't even decided yet if I want to buy one but uh, it's certainly an interesting thought uh, to to go around and musing about it what we want to do um, so there might be a few new updates in the future regarding stuff like charging how can I charge in my garage or carport at home do I have enough electricity a juice going into the house, something like that I need to sort out. And then there's also all the financing. Um, I'll need to figure out since I don't have any of the money. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, um, I think I think maybe I should um, anticipate some questions. questions I'll be getting from different people. And, <laughs> and that would probably be why did I decide this car. So... Um, I haven't decided yet, but um, I think ideally people would want a Tesla Model, Tesla Model 3, but that one costs around 64,000 euros around here and at 10, 20% that you have in American dollars. So that's way out of my price range. And Volkswagen are coming up with the ID3, but they had a sign up list and that shut that down after 500 cars and then they had got another 250. And then they shut the list down again, so now I can get on a waiting list to get on a waiting list for that one. And then there's the Kia Nero, e Nero, and then there's a the Hyundai Kona. They also have a large range. I need a large capacity so we can work across the country. So um, <laughs> as small as our country is. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, they had a year and a half sign up a waiting list for that, and I think it's down to a year or nine, or nine months now. And it's a kind of a mini SUV, a crossover car type they have, and I really like to have a small car. So the 208 is a perfect size for me since I'm just going to be myself, and it's easier to find parking space usually. And uh, yeah, so I don't need a big car. Uh, 
<laughs> and that one is half the price of a, a Tesla Model 3 now to take that as a the the, the standard, a golden standard. So uh, uh, so yeah, half the price of that. So roughly. Yeah, if you have any questions to why I'm doing what, then uh, feel free to ask them below and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. So uh, see you around. Cheers. <laughs>